When you think of dinosaurs, you probably think of them populating a dense, humid jungle, or perhaps a hot, dry grassland, or even an unending desert. But would you picture dinosaurs in Antarctica? As it turns out, dinosaurs populated every continent in the world, including Antarctica, but it wasn't the Antarctic we know today. Back then, the world was much warmer and more tropical than it is now, and Dr. Brian Huber from the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History states that the oceans around Antarctica could possibly have gotten up to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists can guess that, based on the chemistry of fossilized seashells from that time, getting an estimate of the water temperature. We have also found fossil evidence of trees and animals that couldn't survive the freezing cold temperatures of today's Antarctica. So why was it so much warmer? One theory is that the Earth was warmed by a large excess of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Whatever the case, Antarctica, while warmer than today, wasn't completely a stranger to the cold. Being a polar continent, Antarctica would endure months on end of the cold, dark winter, and has been found to frequently drop below freezing. The animals that inhabited it would have learned to survive and adapt to such conditions. We only know a handful of dinosaurs from Antarctica, so today we'll be taking a look at these dinosaurs that did live in the harsh environment. First on our list, we have the Cryolophosaurus, a large theropod from Antarctica. The animal could grow up to 23 feet in length and had a slender body. The most striking feature on this animal was its bony crest sticking out from atop its head, just above the eyes. The crest was thin and small, probably having no other use than display, possibly to attract a mate or for intimidation purposes, or even species recognition. Perhaps all three. Cryolophosaurus name means cold crested reptile, but it has often been nicknamed the Elvisaurus. Next up, we'll be taking a look at the Antarctopelta, the first dinosaur to be discovered in Antarctica. This genus of ankylosaur was a medium sized herbivore, growing up to 13 feet in length. Like others in its family, Antarctopelta was covered in bony armored plates and possibly possessed a club at the end of its tail, like other ankylosaurs. Curiously, while it was the first dinosaur to be discovered in Antarctica, it wasn't named until after Cryolophosaurus was discovered and named. That's partially because it took 10 years to excavate the entire Antarctopelta skeleton. Antarctica is a very difficult place to look for fossils. Morosaurus, named in 2015, was a herbivorous dinosaur from Antarctica. It was classified as an iguanodont, and its name means Southern Hypsilophodon. Glacialosaurus is a sauropod-like dinosaur known only from a partial foot and left femur. Its name means frozen reptile, and we don't really know a lot about it yet. Trinosaura, another iguanodont, was named in 2013 from a partial skeleton that lacks a skull. It was small, about 5 feet long, and its name honors geologist Trinidad Diaz. And, well, that's about it. As of the filming of this video, that's a list of every dinosaur ever discovered in Antarctica. The truth is, there may have been many, many more, but Antarctica is such a hostile environment now that it's extremely hard to look for fossils there. There's much, much more to learn about the past in such places, and I have no doubt that we'll continue seeing new discoveries stream from the land of ice and snow. I hope you like this overview, and will look up some of these creatures for yourself. Remember to leave a like if you like the video, and subscribe to get three videos like this one every week, and share it with your friends so you'll seem smart. Until next time, Paleo Luke out.